All right, so the new Zed icons just dropped. I've been playing him for about 10 years. He's always been in my top three. So I want to give you my first impressions on this piece of shit. So to me, the old icons tell you a lot more. They're a lot more detailed and to the point. One of the things that the new icons does well, for example, in Q and in E, is that they give you a sense of motion. But the problem is that they sacrifice detail to achieve this. But before we get into that, I want to take a look at the passive, because for me, the new one just takes the cake. It's a, it's a clear winner. There's no debate about that. I definitely like the new passive. Now for his ultimate or his R, the new one has a big red X and then it has black Z, kind of like imitating the X with his legs. And then you have the random solder from the exhaust icon in there. So it's basically just an X for death mark. But the problem is that the old icon also makes an X. You have three blades from Z and his shadows, and this just straight up draws an X by crossing them. And the thing that makes me think of too is, you know, when Z presses R, there's three shadows converging on the target when he's landing. Or maybe it's like one Z plus two shadows, but there's still basically like three Zs converging on the one target. So I see the old icon and instantly like it comes to my head, oh, I can see the animation in my head. You know, set us to laughter, ha ha ha, and then he like converges on the target. So if we compare the old R to the new R, they both show an X, but the old one also tells you about the three shadows converging on the target. So it feels like a two for one, whereas to the new R, it feels like a one for one. The old one is also a lot more detailed because you get to see the blades up close. Like I look at the new R and I'm like, why the fuck is the exhaust guy there? You know, like, like, why, like why, why is he there? Like, <laughs> and I think he's just there because it, like, if they take him out, it, it looks so empty. It looks so unimpressive because there's not a lot going on. It's just an X and Z is completely black. There's no detail there. Now let's move on to the W. This is kind of a quick one. Because the new W is pretty hard to see. I mean, you could pretty much slice the image diagonally in half. And the bottom left part of it, you could completely just replace it with like a, a black triangle. And the image would be the same. They kind of just wasted half the icon for no reason. It's just kind of hard to see, but you could tell it's like an animated shadow. But then you look at the old W and it's like, oh, that's two halves of the same guy. It's like, oh, the, the original and then his shadow. And then on top of that, you get the sense that like, oh, this is like... You know in and out the same person like it kind of tells you too that you can swap between each side it's like two sides of the same coin same person different views different filters you know it gives you that idea of swapping so this one's kind of a two for one as well uh you can see it a lot more clearer it's more clear because the new one is really hard to see but it also tells you about the swap ability hence the two for one now let's move on to the e so the thing that the new E does well is that it gives you a sense of motion. You can tell it's an action, it's, it's something moving, animating. But the cost is that you can't tell where it's from unless you already know it's Zed. And you already know that he has his blades or claws and what they look like. Like realistically, you can't tell if that's like an animal clawing something or like what is like, it's like a Pokemon scratch, you know, scratch move. It, it looks the same, bro. Like... And while the old E doesn't give you as much of a sense of motion, it does have a little bit of an outline, but it doesn't give you as much of a sense of motion as the new E. What it does well is that it gives you a lot of detail. It's like up and close. It's like, oh, that, that's his blade. That's the blades that he uses for his spin move. Like you can immediately tell, oh shit. Whereas to the new one, you can't really tell that Zed or what his blades look like. All right, so last up is the Q. So I'm actually, I mean... The Q is pretty hard to fuck up, to be honest. The new Q, I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but I still think it looks worse. Um, the main problem is just that this one added a sense of motion as well, just like his E. But the thing is, like, there's only one thing you're going to do with a shuriken, right? Like, the only thing you do with it is, like, throw it. So, like, <laughs> so I think the sense of motion is completely unnecessary for his shuriken. I think a shot where you're up and close to the shuriken and you get to admire the detail is always going to look better than one where you're showing motion and the shuriken is way smaller and way less detailed. Alright, let's go over some common questions I've seen. The old icons were mostly blue with some purple and the new ones are all red. I know some of you might be wondering why are the old icons blue to begin with? Why weren't they just red or black? And I'm pretty sure they just made them like that to match the effects of Shockblade Z which are all blue. That was his release skin, and all his effects are blue on there. I don't have a problem with them making the icons red. I think the color itself could be an improvement or a side grade. 
Yeah, I'm going to drop the ego here and say that red probably would look better in terms of color. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Especially subscribe. I need to hostage you. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.